In this video, Kevin and I are going to be reviewing the 12 Cocos of Christmas. This is kind of a, a Christmas advent calendar. It's not labeled as an advent calendar, but it's kind of a countdown to Christmas is how I look at it. It was $14.99 at World Market. They have the double chocolate cocoa mix, the raspberry, salted caramel, French vanilla, caramel, milk chocolate, peppermint, amaretto, cinnamon, hazelnut, toasted marshmallow, and gingerbread. So, Kevin and I are going to be reviewing uh, three sets of four uh, flavors, and so we're going to choose four, and we'll be back in just a second to try those. So, we chose four flavors. We chose milk chocolate, double chocolate. Uh, this is caramel and the salted caramel. And I did it like that so that we could compare them to each other. You know, if you if you can compare one to the other and see if one of them has a, a richer flavor, then then I think you should do it. So how did you make these? Um, when you open the box, let me have a pipe. When you open the box, you get one of these that's folded in half. What does it say on it? It's just not for individual sale. Oh, okay. Um, that way somebody's not buying these and selling each of them right. for five dollars a piece, I guess. Right. right. <laughs> um, but they come folded over. All I did was cut the top. You pour it in the cup, and then you put the powder in the cup, and then we did the Keurig. I did hot water, um, six ounces, stirred it up, you're done. And you can, if you want, for a richer flavor, you can use milk. Yeah. So it does say water or milk. Yeah. However, I have to tell you, these are 100 calories a piece. So, right. so if you add milk, you're going to add those calories too. If, if calories matter to if you. Those, yes, if they don't, go for it. Yeah. You have fun. But you have to heat your milk up too. So you have to microwave it or put it in a pan. Or yeah, whatever, and it's so. really easy. I love the Keurig because it's yeah, so simple. You have to stick it on it, get hot water, and hit six ounces. You're done. Yeah, I mean, who, who even need, you wouldn't even need a kettle or anything. No. People talk about kettles. You don't need a kettle with no, a curry. It's, it's nice. Um, it's convenient. So, these are made by a Marketplace brand, if you're curious. They are in Elk Grove Village, Illinois. And uh, so, all the ones that we try are going to be from, from that's mm. who made this box. And these They're are cute little boxes. You can go ahead and try it. They're cute little boxes. You can actually, I mean... Yes, they've got the name of a, of a drink on there, but uh, you could use those to put like a, wrap, a little thing of jewelry or an ornament or something like that in, so you could repurpose the box. You absolutely could. I think they are adorable little boxes. Um, yes. I mean, if somebody gets it, they might be expecting a drink out of it. I like that, the, uh, the, that idea. Necklace, earrings, um, anything, a little Ooh. trinket that you have. I was thinking about... You know about, what? If you even had a name tag, you could even stick a name tag over top of the name and maybe even... You could and yeah. cover the name and just have the... I was even thinking about like Amelia with, with her little kitchen or something. Yeah. I don't know. I yeah. just always... It looks... It's about the size of a bar of soap. Yeah. Yeah, so, a bar of soap box, yeah. The milk, not, it's not a really strong flavor, but it's, it's a good flavor. It's not creamy. Yeah, and I think if you did the milk, it would be it would add a cream. Right. So. It's not creamy, but it is very good milk chocolate. It's more thin. Yeah. It's a thinner because we've had cocoa mixes where you just pour it in hot water. Right. And um, it was a thicker, richer flavor. These are good. It's good, but it just doesn't have that richness. But the milk would definitely do that. Yes. That's darker. You can tell it's a little, a little darker. It says double though, not dark. So, yeah, but, but do you think that double that just makes? Because stronger. honestly, I went back to this one for another try. This one does seem sweeter. Yeah. The milk chocolate comes across as sweeter than the double. Yeah. Um, I I like the milk better. I do too. I do but too. now they're both very good. So when you get these, you know, you're counting down the days to Christmas. Um, I think you're going to be very, very happy on both of, both of those days. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And typically, they're, they're I would spread those out. You know, right. I would spread them out in the month. Just like these two, I would spread these out too. So That's this caramel. is just caramel. I love a caramel hot chocolate. It's nice. There's nothing wrong with it. It doesn't have the rich yeah that's what's missing is that rich flavor. yeah there's no rich chocolate flavor but it still is very nice mm -hmm. and what did i say this was only 14.99 and you're getting 12 different flavors yeah. and um it's just uh 
that might be kind of pricey when you think about, oh, I can get a whole box of whatever for this price, but you're not getting a different flavor every day either. Right. So it's yeah. more about the experience you're getting. So it's just a little over a dollar a day. So what did you think about the caramel? It's okay. It's not really much different, honestly, than the chocolate. It adds, there's a slight caramel flavor, but it's not very strong caramel. Right. It's there, but it's not strong. There's a little bit of a difference yeah. there, but not a lot. It's not, it's not strong. And even the difference between the caramel and the salted caramel. Yeah, I thought the salted caramel was just a slightly stronger flavor. Yeah, but not, but, but not a ton. But I mean, you're talking about very tiny varying degrees of flavor difference. Right. Um, they're really good. Don't mm -hmm. get me wrong. They're very yeah. good. And I do think if you made them with hot milk, it would make it a richer flavor and a, and a, a thicker like consistency. No, know, I agree. Uh, creamier. But, um, How, when, I like you, them. when you poured the water in there, did they stir well? They did stir really, really well. That, that was one thing I was quite impressed with. It was they, they mixed really well. And they, it wasn't like, clumpy, you didn't stick to the spoon. Some that we've had, some things just don't want to mix. Yeah, they don't dissolve. Um, no, yeah, it, it's horrible. They, they want to just uh, stick to the bottom and, and they're really thick and it's really hard to mix them. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's nice to know that these mixed in really well. Yeah, they did. So I think these are, I think they're nice. Um, do you have a choice out of just these four? I would probably do the salted caramel because I do, okay. I, it seems a little sweeter to yeah. me. Mm -hmm. um, it does, it does have a little sweet. I still, I'm gonna go the with the original, yeah. the original milk chocolate, but they're all very good. Mm -hmm. So just know these are the first four yeah. and these four are all very, very nice. Uh, so we'll be back with four more. We have four more hot chocolates. We have the French vanilla, the toasted marshmallow. Hazelnut and amaretto. So first we're gonna be trying the French vanilla. All of these, same calories, 100 calories. Made the same way. <clears throat> same way, new day. <laughs> That's nice. It's very sweet, mm -hmm. very sweet. It is 100 calories though. You know. That's vanilla, right? Yes, French vanilla. It just tastes like chocolate to me. It tastes like the original, well, yeah. It tastes pretty much like the milk chocolate. I agree. That's <laughs> yeah, I'm 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 excited to get into some different flavors because yes, a lot of these have tasted just like they're basic and there's nothing wrong with it. It still is really good, but you're yeah. expecting a completely different experience. For fourteen dollars though, for a thirteen days or twelve days or whatever, was it twelve days? I think it was twelve days. Um, wow. For the 12 days of, of hot chocolates for $14 or $15, I would expect them to be different every Completely day. Completely different. So if I'm getting a lot, if I, we'll see what like it's I'm like thinking at, the end. at least I know it's good. Yeah, we'll see at the end what I, what we think. Toasted but marshmallow. My early impression is you're you're it's not really worth it if it's not if it's all the same flavor. It tastes a little different. See, I didn't think it did. Not much, but um, I think it tastes exactly. I think that tastes more sweeter. like the um, that tastes more like the original milk chocolate than this one did. Yeah. Now that I've had this one, this one might have had a touch of vanilla in it, but it's not much to me. That tastes just like regular hot. I didn't get any marshmallow in that at all. I get. I think it's at all a touch sweeter. That's uh, it. I don't see, even, I thought the first one was sweet. I think that one was sweeter. Uh, yeah. But let me just say, it's very similar. It, yeah, really. Right, this okay. one's the hazelnut. So hopefully. You would think hazelnut would be hazelnut. Because the caramel did taste a little different. That one is completely different. That does taste like hazelnut. Oh, yeah. Yes. Well, it's different. I don't know if it tastes like hazelnut necessarily. I, I guess think it, it tastes like hazelnut. Yeah. That is a good flavor. It's definitely different. If you hear that noise, it's raining and it's mm -hmm. hitting the, the window. So you might hear the rain. You might hear the rain. Um, it is storming a bit here. Yeah, it is. Um, the uh, I like the hazelnut. The hazelnut I, thought, I thought it was nice. Yeah, and it, it and it's, it is so different from the other ones. Yeah, you can definitely say that one's different. Yes. And what is this one? Amaretto. Amaretto. That's a slightly different. It's not quite as sweet. 
but I don't know that I would say, because your mom used to make amaretto cake, mm -hmm. and that doesn't taste like, that's amaretto. It's not vastly different from just the regular no, chocolate. No, I, I'm a little disappointed so far that, that they're not, I mean, most of them have been like just cho hot chocolate with slight variations of flavors, mm -hmm. and then the hazelnut's been really good. The salt, the caramel and the salted caramel tasted pretty much the same but they did taste different from the other ones. So we'll see, we'll see what the last few are. I'm just happy that they've all been good. We haven't had yeah. any that are like bad or that we didn't like. Uh, yeah, the hazelnut so, could have went like, ugh. So for me, thinking about spending the money, yeah, a lot of them do taste the same, but but you're not gonna be trying like we're trying them That's here. true. You're gonna be trying them all by themselves. You're gonna have this. That's true. And so in your mind, you know, it might be you know, different That's because true. you're, you're not, not comparing, comparing it to other ones, yeah. you know, and you're getting that single day experience. That's true. And um, so I'm just thinking at least they're really good. They are so good. out of these four, which one did you like the best? Uh, the marshmallow, because I thought it was sweeter. And I like the first one. Yeah. The, and I thought the French vanilla was the sweetest. So we both chose the sweetest. But then honestly, uh, these are these two are so similar that I would pick the hazelnut next just because it's completely different. Um, yeah, and I like the amaretto one was probably my last one. Uh, probably mine too. Yeah, yeah. not that it's bad. It's not that bad, it's just... Somebody so, has to come in yeah. last. So uh, we'll be back tomorrow with the last four. So now we have the raspberry, gingerbread... Cinnamon and peppermint. We're going to try the raspberry first. Made them the same way, by the way. I think they put 0.5% of raspberry in there. I don't taste any raspberry yeah. at all. I think if you were blindfolded, you would never know the difference between that and regular hot chocolate. I, I don't, I mean, I taste zero raspberry. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it, yeah, it's, um, yeah, I really don't think you would know the difference. No aftertaste. There's not even an aftertaste of rice. Sometimes raspberry will come through after the fact. I don't get anything. Nope, nothing. No raspberry. It's just chocolate. Yeah, it really is. I'm sorry. I really... Yeah, and these are the... Uh, we saved the uh, wilder flavors. Uh, yeah, what we thought would be stronger. For last. Yeah. So, this is gingerbread. That one has a flavor. This one's different. Yes. It definitely smells different. Yes, it, that one's different. That must have been one of the last ones you made because it's a little hotter. You don't know. I mean, this second. is hot too. But um, that tastes more cinnamony to me than ginger. See, I, I, well. I mean, I get a little ginger, but it tastes like more cinnamon than ginger. No, I can understand why you would say cinnamon as well, but I do taste the ginger. Yeah, I do get yeah. a little ginger in there. So I'm curious to see what the cinnamon's going to be. I like. know. Um, you do get the flavor, huh? though, definitely. It's more of a um, unsweetened. Um, to me, it's just, not as sweet. Spice, yeah, yeah, just spice without sweet. Yeah, instead of gingerbread, it's more ginger spice. <laughs> yes, but uh, it doesn't burn your throat or no. anything. It's not that strong. No, it's a pleasant. It's uh, a yes, pleasant it's taste. very pleasant. So now we have cinnamon. Yeah, and I'm, I'm, I'm curious how much different this is going to be. This has more cinnamon than that. That tastes like chocolate. Did you get any cinnamon out of that? A ve a, 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 it was a suggestion. I didn't I mean, get any I mean, somebody might have blown something over it. I, 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 I literally, I mean, yeah, like you said, that one has more cinnamon in it. It than really the cinnamon does. One does. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Okay, let's go for peppermint. You can have the first drink. I don't like drinking after her. No, I'm just kidding. I drink after you all the time. <laughs> every, every cup. <laughs> I know what Kevin's going to say about this box. Kevin's going to say, don't buy this. That tastes like chocolate, too. Yeah. Um, we, okay. We. Let me give my perspective. Okay. There has been, I'll even go on a limb and say three flavors that have been different than chocolate. Right. The gingerbread, the hazelnut, and technically the, the caramel and salted caramel tasted a little different than chocolate. 
everything else in this box is chocolate. It's just chocolate. I mean, it's, it's just, just chocolate. Now, that's not to say it's not good chocolate. It is really good hot chocolate. Mm -hmm. And it, it's neat to, to try something different. I mean, it's They're a, pretty boxes. Yeah, I mean, it has some things going for it. But if you're looking for different flavors, nah, you're not getting it from this thing. We reviewed the uh, 12 coffees of Christmas. And we bought those at World Market as well. And the 12 coffees of Christmas were in the so, curate. yeah, the yeah. K-Cups, they were so different. Yeah, they were, that was one I would recommend. Yeah, they were so different. And, um, but then I had posted a picture on Instagram of these 12 Cocos of Christmas. And people were like, oh, that's the one that people were really interested in. And I thought, really, you're more interested in cocoa than coffee? Yeah, because more people drink but coffee. But more people drink yeah. cocoa. So I went back. I hadn't bought it. And I thought, okay, we'll, we'll review those. So I went back and I bought it. And um, you know what, though? I'm going to agree with Kevin. I, I think you were on the fence until this one. Yeah, I was. Because I really, really thought that definitely raspberry is going to be a different flavor. Gingerbread is going to be different. Cinnamon. Peppermint, for goodness sakes, peppermint's gonna taste like peppermint, right? And it doesn't. Yeah. So, well, you would think cinnamon, how easy and cheap is it to add cinnamon to a So, hot yes, absolutely. I was gonna say, oh, you should get these. Um, now, I would not get these no. because it's just hot chocolate. And it's in, it's in very pretty boxes. It's well packaged. Um, you know, I, I would normally tell you this is a really good gift to give to somebody, but it's just hot chocolate, and yeah. you're paying more. You're paying fifteen dollars for the boxes. Um, for the boxes, yeah, <laughs> for pretty boxes because it's just hot chocolate. Yeah. So I would pass on this unless until they improve on it. Maybe next year they'll be better. I doubt it. I doubt they're going to the change them. Yeah. yeah, I doubt they're going to change. Yeah, them. I mean, you could. I would almost rather you. I would almost recommend you go out and buy the little boxes of flavored hot chocolate from like uh, Swiss Land Miss or Land of Lakes. The or Land of Lakes. Like that. If you want to give somebody 12 days of Christmas or you want to give them uh, something in their Christmas stocking, Land of Lakes sells uh, single serve packages. We've reviewed those two. They're awesome. Yeah. That's what I would do. <coughs> they won't be in the fancy boxes, but they'll, they, but they'll they, definitely But it is pretty be. packaging and it's foil. They're That's foil true. packaging. They're, they're real pretty. But at least they'll um, have a better experience as far as different flavors and yes. stuff. This is just... That's what I would recommend you do is go with the Land of Lakes. Yeah. Terrific brand. Terrific of course, if you're buying flavors. this as a gift, what do you care? Yeah, you don't care anyway, probably, if you're buying it as a gift. I like giving people things that I would want myself. Right. Things that I like myself. So, I personally would not give this to somebody yeah. now. Because I know that they're going to be like, she it's wasted her money on that. Yeah, exactly. So, I hope this helps you out and saves you $15. And thanks for watching. Lots of time.